Hello, welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to be reviewing some happy mail that I received a couple of days ago from an anonymous person. They sent me this and I have no idea who sent it. So um, I'm opening it with great anticipation. I'm really, really excited. This has been on my wish list for ages um, after I saw it on Instagram and it's been sent to me. This is the Alice in Wonderland Oracle. Um, I'm also after the tarot, but that's not available at the moment. Um, it's by Lucy Cavendish and the artwork is by Jasmine Beckett Griffith. Um, on the back it shows you a couple of examples of the cards. It says, journey down the rabbit hole and find the wonderland within. Welcome to this whimsical, thoroughly delightful oracle filled with the wit and wisdom of Wonderland. Inspired by Alice's most famous insights and adventures, you will discover beings whose messages will help you find your way through the rabbit holes, labyrinths, pools of tears, mad tea parties and unjust courts of life. Prepare to meet the best loved characters of Wonderland, including the Cheshire Cat, the White Rabbit and the Mad Hatter, all captured in stunning paintings by acclaimed artist Jasmine Beckett Griffith. Beautifully written by beloved author and witch Lucy Cavendish, this rich and imaginative deck is destined to become a true collector's item. Alice, the Wonderland Oracle, is for the curious, the daring and those longing to make of their lives the most marvellous adventure. It includes 45 cards and a 132 page guidebook featuring in-depth card meanings and easy to learn, insightful spreads for readings that will empower, guide and inspire. So there you go. Very, very exciting stuff. It's a lovely, lovely picture. Um, right, I'm going to very, very carefully open the cellophane on it, grab hold of my knife. It's so tightly packed that you just can't, I can't get an, even get a nail in. Okay, there's a nice sheet of paper on top, which is nice to protect the um, protect the book. Now, <laughs> one thing that always bugs me with things like this is they've put a notch in there so you can get hold of the box to put it out, but there's no notch in the bottom box to allow you to get hold of it. You know, so you've got to sort of wiggle it. Oh, okay. So the cards are not as big as the box. That's something. They are, as per usual, slightly larger than a tarot deck. Um, this is a standard tarot. This is the Easy Witch Tarot. And you can see the difference in size here. So quite a, quite a you know, nice, nice size. I find Oracle decks usually are bigger. Um, This is the Everyday Witch Tarot, which I did also review, and this is huge. It's almost unusable. And yet this is about the same size. It's not just not quite as wide, look. Height-wise, it's the same, but it's just a smidgen smaller. So I thought that was all the Oracle deck size, but there you go. So it's got a band around it. So the first card is Alice and it says all in the golden afternoon, inspiration, creative spark, imagination, conception. I love the artwork, it's beautiful. Okay, first off, it's sticky. It's sticky as hell. The whole deck is stuck to itself, which to shuffle right hopefully that will do it two I wonder what will happen next ready to adventure precipice of change and pause before action I like that she's in quite Victorian style shuffle forward Victorian style clothing there three falling Look how pissed off she looks <laughs> Um, the unknown, descent, momentum and change. Let's see if I can just bring that into focus a little bit more for you so that you can actually read it too. 
Oops. Let's see how we get on there. Okay, next. Becoming braver, resilience, experience, growing stronger and a fresh perspective. Choices, You're feeling blocked or restrained. Investigate, look closely, ask questions, think before acting. Do not drink poison, that's good advice. Do not do things you know are bad for you. Hi. Hi. How are you? Are you all right? <laughs> I've got something to show you all. What have you got to show me? Could you please go and let the dog out? Oh, what's that? They're bombs. They're bombs, are they? Right here. Go and watch your film then. And could you let the doggy out for me quick? See if she wants to go out. Thank you. Curiouser and curiouser, said Alice. Discovery, inquiry, weirdness, curiosity. Oh, that's stunning. Follow your own good advice. Trust yourself. You know what is best for you. Sorry about that. My camera, my overhead camera froze, so I had to restart. Follow your own good advice. This is a brilliant one. Um, we're all really good at giving advice to each other, aren't we? Um, we always know what to do in somebody else's situation um you know is your best mate in a in an abusive relationship well it's simple leave him you know um is 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 your sister really bad with money you know well, you need to learn to budget and you know everybody's got an opinion but do you follow your own advice or are you one of those people that even though deep down you know what to do you necessarily don't oh, that's an excellent card i love that card Okay, changed in the night. You have changed quickly. Uh -oh. Lead the way. Be a leader. Show others how it's done. You can help others. All must have prizes. Trying to please everyone. Clock time. Time, pressure and in a rush. Messages for a rabbit. Service to the animal world. A moment's regret, nostalgia, idealising the past, fearing you've made a mistake. Growing up, wanting to grow an experience, rejection of perpetual youth. That cat is got scary, terrifying actually. No need to fear, remember how powerful you are. That's a good one. Who in the world are you? Getting to know the new you. I guess that would quite well go with you've changed. Keep your temper. Don't allow anger to rule you. <laughs> it's something I'm constantly guilty of. The right way. Learning to create what you desire. Set your course. Know where you wish to go. Have a plan in the right direction. We're all mad here. Everyone is a little different. Use your time well. Make every moment count. Wake up. It's your moment. It's always tea time. Eternity, endless moments and repetition. In my house it is always tea time. We drink a lot of tea. Painting the roses red. Painting the roses is red. Covering up errors. Nonsense. It's time to talk sense. They're stuck. <laughs> Find the lesson. Discover the purpose in a situation. Trust that you are learning. That cat is terrifying, I'm telling you. Law is not justice. Rules that are not fair. Believe strange encounters. Belong to your own dream. Create your own life. 
I want to be a queen. Stating your sovereignty, declaring freedom, passing a test. Impossible things, working through disbelief, imaginative leaps, fresh perspective. Never jam today, promises that never come to be, empty words, not living in the now. Shine bright like a candle, you will make it through this. Nature communication, flower energies, fairy energies, elemental messages. That's stunning, that card. You are rare and free. There are not many like you. Dude, there's nobody like me. <laughs> um, uncertainty, choose who you will become. Keeping up, intense effort, advance. Forget who you are, conditioning falls away. Conditioning falls away. Memory no longer defines you. Mortality. Life is brief, bright, beautiful and yours to live. Manage to be glad. Create your own happiness regardless of conditions. You can't go back to yesterday. Be in the present. And the final card. Such a curious dream. Grounding, returning to reality and coming home. Hmm, okay, so what do you think of the pictures? I like the deck, I do. I find the Cheshire Cat is absolutely terrifying. Um, I'm, not, I'm not that keen on him, but the rest of it I like. So yeah, I, I will use this. I'm looking forward to using this. So I'm gonna give it a good old shuffle later. And um, yeah, we'll go from now. I'm, I'm quite curious. And it seems to want to, s yeah, it's quite sticky. I wish they wouldn't make them so um, uh, like laminated because they stick which makes them really hard to shuffle as you can see look they just go in clumps which is a pain it really is I've got a, a, that big deck I just showed you just now that's the same and it's infuriating it really is and yet the paper in here seems quite crappy in comparison Okay, introduction. All enchanted guidebook for the curious adventurer, but I don't want to go among mad people, Alice remarked. Oh, you can't help that, said the cat. We're all mad here. I'm mad, you're mad. How do you know I'm mad, said Alice. You must be, said the cat, or you wouldn't have come here. Lewis Carroll, Alice's Adventures in Wonderland. Welcome to this enchanted guidebook, which will introduce you to the wisdom of Alice the Wonderland Oracle. Um... Da -da 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 -da. That's just basically what's on the back. Uh, it's just a little bit basically about. Um... Oh, it turns out that the lady who did this also did another Oracle deck that I own, which is awesome. So it's a little bit about her and how she came to do this. Um, and then she tells you a bit about working with the deck, um, practical methods and techniques for working with your Wonderland Oracle. Many people tell me they do not read guidebooks or learn how to do a layout. If you simply wish to work with the cards in your own way, that can work well. But one of the messages of Wonderland is that lessons are helpful. Learning the layouts. See, I don't do spreads. I normally pull just a card a day, but I do need to learn some spreads so that I can, because I've got a couple of people that want readings for them. Each, the text for each card is divided into sections. There's a number and a title and keywords to serve as cues or props. Excuse me. Next is our direct quote from either Alice's Adventures in Wonderland or Alice's Looking Glass. Oh, cool. Uh, well, it also talks about reversing the decks as well, which I don't tend to do. So, Yes, some layouts, three card spread, the Celtic cross, 
down the rabbit hole she created her own spread lovely through the looking glass awesome and then it tells you about each card and each card has got a um an explanation for example the first one all in the golden afternoon inspiration creative spark imagination and conception um a non to sudden silence one in fancy they pursue the dream child moving through a land of wonders wild and new in ancient times we did not think an individual was responsible for their creativity uh, more so a blessed a person blessed with creative genius a divine spark or a brilliant idea was thought to have been visited by a muse is that genii or other spirit that could inspire someone with ideas that were longing to be born in the world at the very beginning of the tale alice there is a poem a preface which portrays the moment the author was begged to create a story this card represents the time immediately before Alice's existence. There's no rabbit hole, no treasure cat, no mad hatter, no queen of hearts. There's only the urge to tell the story. So it is with you at this moment. A spark of inspiration is about to descend on you. A wondrous tale is asking to be told through you. This surge of imagination can take many forms. It can be a creative solution to a problem you are experiencing. It may mean using visualization to improve a physical activity or painting a picture with a new technique or a fresh perspective. Sorry, I always yawn when I'm reading out. Whatever form it takes, you are actively telling the story of your life with every word you speak and creating the story in action with every move you make. What wonderlands can you create when you allow yourself to be open to the genius all about you and invite it to come into the world through you? You are imaginative, you are creative, you have that spark within you. Whatever it is you wish to do, paint, draw, sing, write, dance. Do this creative, vital, brilliant life bringing thing. Who knew what creations you can bring forth? Why not begin to discover the possibilities today? So divination, upright that means. Um, time to create, an imaginative idea, inspiration takes hold, talent and ability, the muse touches down in your life, get ready. If it's reversed, as in upside down, uh, it means you feel dull, uninspired, mundane, believing you lack creativity, dissatisfaction with your work and negative self-talk. So that's quite interesting. Now I'm not gonna read them all because there are 45 cards and you'll all fall asleep. And not only that, but it's copyright. Um, if you want to know more, you'll have to buy the deck yourself. Um, I don't want to get into trouble. So she gives you, you know, two pages on each card. Okay, she tells you th sort of like, well, like with this one, you know, it, there's a story for each card. Then she tells you the meaning and the reversal meaning. Okay, then it tells you a bit about uh, Lucy Cavendish, the author, at the end. And there's her website address, which is www.lucycavendish.com.au. And it tells you all the books that she's done. Um, I know I've got a couple of them. Oracle of the Dragon Fae. Oh, yes. Um, and then about the lady who did the, the artwork, Jasmine Beckett Griffith. She's an acrylic painter. Elements of realism with fantasy and surreal. And her website is strangeling.com. Nice, love it. And then it shows you a couple more of um, Blue Angel Publishings. They all look to be like um, from Lucy. So you've got the Fairy Tale Oracle, which looks quite pretty. The Oracle of the Shapeshifters. Strangeling, the art of Jasmine Beckett Griffith. That's the lady who do this one. The Fairy Forest, an Oracle of Green, Wild Green World, which is also by Lucy. And then that's it. And then for more information, it gives you Blue Angel Publishing website which is blueangelonline.com and that's a fantastic photo isn't it or a fantastic picture rather my only bugbear is is that she looks pissed off in every single card which i get it because it's, it's there's obviously a theme that the, that the artist has gone with but i don't think she's smiling in any of them which is a bit sad really isn't it but yeah I mean that one maybe there's like a little hint of smart but she, she's very helena bonham carter isn't she don't you think she doesn't seem happy at all you know she looks pissed off in just about every single one it's like girl smile but then i suppose if you're drawing this oh there's a little smile there maybe but just not very she doesn't seem happy does she but then again i suppose if she was happy she wouldn't be seeking advice from oracle cards <laughs> so there we go um do I like them? Yes, I do. Am I going to use them? Yes, I am. I'm going to use these quite a lot, I think. I love the way that they're done. I love the way she's put a little bit down the bottom here. So you don't have to use the book if you don't want to. The last thing I want to do is to constantly have to pull out the book when I'm using a deck. 
and be it an oracle deck or a tarot deck that's why i don't like the rider weight deck because it's very what am i supposed to divine from two swords on a, on a card I, to me that doesn't mean anything this is two swords on a card whereas when i pull it up on you know one of my other decks that's got pictures and you know and all that lot i there's a story i can see it yeah so i can use my own insights into it which i really really like and i know that sometimes my insights are very very different from other people's i've been told as much by other tarot readers you know wow i would not have seen that in that card for example um and all of that lot and um she knows who she is i hope i hope she sees this because she was the one that pushed me to get back into my tarot a couple of years ago um, because she said you know she said you've seen things in this deck that i haven't seen um you know you need to go for it and i do really need to get back into it a little bit more i think and i might start pulling a few more cards every day and maybe doing a few more tarot challenges online i'll we'll have to see so there we go um yes i like that one a lot nine out of ten nine out of ten i think yeah like i said the only thing that bugs me is that Alice looks quite miserable in a lot of the cards. I'd love to get my hands on the tarot deck. I really would, but it's not available on Amazon. Not here in the UK anyway. Um, yeah. I'd like to just, just to have the both. Yeah. It's like my, my um, tarot everyday witch cards that I've got. I love the tarot deck, but I'm not as hot on the oracle deck. So, yeah. I was... But, yeah. No, I like that one. Yeah. Thank you for joining me. <laughs> I hope you... Uh, didn't mind the waffle at the end there <laughs> i hope you enjoyed this little review um if you did please do feel free to give me a thumbs up if you didn't why not tell me what did what did i not do down below what was it you wanted to see um did should i have done a spread or anything like that you know anything that you think i should have done or anything that i missed or anything like that please do let me know down below so that i can improve my content for you for when i review things like this Thank you so, so much for joining me today. I hope you have a fantastic rest of your day. Take these guys.